Have you ever wanted to play an ASCII version of Space Invaders in the command prompt? Well, here you go. That game is the first program I've written in C, which I started learning about a week or so ago. If you want to have a look at the code I wrote for this, I'm going to put a link in the description. Although, be warned, I am very new to C, so it's probably quite a mess. If any of you people are more advanced at C, or know more programming in general, and you have any comments, please give them to me. But now I'm going to give an overview of how the game works and the logic behind it. The game world is created using an array, which you can imagine as a board with a grid on it. Then an algorithm goes through and puts M's and O's in some of the boxes based on a certain pattern. Then it places the player in a predefined location. While the game is playing, it goes through every box in the grid, and if it finds an M or an O, it moves either one to the left or one to the right, unless it is next to a side of the grid, in which case it also moves it down one. The game also checks if one of the movement keys has been pressed, and if one of them has, the player is deleted and redrawn in the correct direction. And finally, if the fire button has been pressed, a upward arrow is drawn above the player's location. On every cycle of the game, the arrow is redrawn one block higher. However, if an arrow is below a box with an O in it, the arrow is deleted and the O changes to an M. Similarly, if an arrow is found below an M, the M changes to an X, the arrow is deleted, and then that X is deleted also. This is a representation of an enemy ship exploding. Enemy ships can also fire. Each column is checked to find the lowest down M or O. A random number is then assigned to each of these lowest M's or O's, and if the random number is big enough, then a U is drawn below the enemy ship and fires similarly to how a player's bullet works. If a U is found above an A, the U is deleted, the A becomes an X, and the game is stopped and the game over screen is triggered to display. However, if the player is still alive and all of the enemies have been defeated, instead the congratulations screen is displayed. Here the final score is calculated and displayed upon the screen for all to see. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Also, follow me on Tumblr and Twitter.